Hello everyone and, uh, and welcome. My name is uh, Federico Cattorini and uh, in this video I'm going to discuss uh, some uh, initial results of, uh, of my current project which uh, deals with uh, GRMHD simulations of uh, massive black hole binaries in, uh, in magnetized environments. This, uh, this work is motivated by the possibility of uh, future multi-messenger observations of uh, a class of laser gravitational wave events namely the latent spiral and uh, the coalescence of massive local binaries. This, uh, this low-frequency gravitational waves uh, will lead uh, detailed information on the merging black holes, such as uh, their masses, their spins, uh, distances. And uh, if we had the chance to observe uh, those uh, powerful events in the electromagnetic window as well, we could get some uh, precious insight on their environment. We could better determine their localization and more. Yet, uh, to date, our knowledge of this uh, radiation is still quite primitive, and thus, uh, in order to unambiguously identify those signals, an accurate modeling of uh, these systems uh, is needed. Over the last uh, decade, uh, there has been a number of studies which uh, began to explore this phenomena through numerical modeling with uh, full GR, hydrodynamical or magnetohydrodynamical simulations. Here, with uh, a little oversimplification, we can divide uh, those studies according to the physical properties of the gas uh, in the vicinity of the black holes. Um, loosely speaking, these properties can be bracketed by two characteristic scenarios. The, um, the gas cloud model, which uh, is characterized by a hot and a turbulent accretion flow, and uh, the circumbinary disk model, where the, the gas uh, settles in uh, a rotationally supported and uh, geometrically thin accretion disk around the binary itself. Here uh, I show a small selection of the references on uh, both uh, scenarios. In, uh, in my project, I focused on the first one, the gas cloud model, and uh, in particular I, I followed the works by Bruno Giacomazzo and uh, Bernard Kelly, who, who both studied equal mass binaries of uh, non-spinning black holes in uh, magnetized gas. I extended those simulations to binaries of uh, spinning black holes in order to, to begin to investigate how the spin affects uh, the dynamics of the magnetized plasma as well as the accretion rate and uh, the emitted point in luminosity. On the wall, my goal uh, is to, um, to explore the MHD mechanisms which may give rise to electromagnetic counterparts. So I carried out uh, uh, three-dimensional MHD simulations uh, using the Einstein toolkit on uh, adaptive mesh refinement reads uh, uh, supplied by the cactus carpet environments and uh, I adopted a full GR BSSM based uh, space-time metric evolution uh, which, uh, which is provided by the McLachlan module and uh, performed uh, the fluid and magnetic field evolution with uh, the Illinois GR MHD code uh, in the ideal MHD framework. So, as I said, I evolved uh, um, binaries of equal mass black holes. I considered different spin configurations, uh, namely black holes with uh, no spin and uh, with an dimensional spin value of uh, 0.6 and uh, 0.9. This time, though, the evolution of the 0.9 binaries uh, is still in progress. Thus, uh, I will focus uh, in this video just on the former two. Uh, the binaries begin evolving at uh, a separation of uh, 12m in uh, code units. In uh, this uh, initially uniform homogeneous gas cloud, threaded by an initially uniform magnetic field everywhere directed along the, the orbital axis. And uh, my initial data are of the Born York type, which, uh, which is commonly used for the moving puncture evolution. And um, here in this table I show the initial data for the non-spinning and the spin 0.6 runs. All the values are in code units and uh, I display the, the initial puncture separations and the and momenta, the dimensional spins and the, the coalescence times, uh, as well as the magnetic to rest mass uh, energy densities. Uh, all my simulations are scaled for a binary of black holes of uh, 10 million solar masses each and uh, an initial rest mass density of uh, 10 to the minus 11 grams over centimeter cubed. So, since uh, the total mass of the gas is uh, much, much smaller than the mass of the binary, the energy momentum tensor can uh, be set to zero which means we can evolve, and, uh, and indeed we do evolve, uh, the Einstein equations uh, in vacuum. In uh, these two figures, uh, we see that uh, the binaries of uh, spinning black holes uh, take longer to merge. Uh, and uh, in the plots, uh, we see the orbital motion of the black holes uh, apparent horizons. 
the, the spinning binary needs uh, approximately four more orbits uh, and more time to get to coalescence. This is due to a well-known uh, spin-base effect, which prompts or, uh, or delays the coalescence according to the sign of the spin-orbit coupling. Uh, here we turn to, to the study of the gas uh, surrounding the binaries. And uh, in uh, this dimensional movie, you will see the values of the magnetic to fluid energy density ratio for a non spin run. Uh, this uh, gives the extent of the magnetization of the plasma. And uh, on the top panel, we show the values of uh, the orbital plane, xy, and uh, on the bottom panel, uh, the values uh, on, uh, on the normal plane, x zeta. And uh, as you can see, in just a few orbits, uh, the gas uh, surrounding the binary become highly magnetized leading to the formation of uh, two magnetically dominated regions uh, on the normal plane. And uh, if we now switch to the corresponding values of uh, the rest mass uh, normalized to its initial value, we can see that uh, the magnetically dominated regions uh, correspond to a compressed uh, two-dimensional rest mass over density on uh, the orbital plane. Uh, let's now look at these features uh, one more time. You see that uh, above and below the disk, uh, gas is uh, largely excluded by magnetically dominated regions. And uh, this is what leads to the formation of these uh, axisymmetric uh, structures, which uh, persist uh, long after the coalescence. We see, we see this effect uh, um, uh, both in the non-spinning and uh, in the spinning runs. So for each binary revolution, we measured the, the total mass equation rate on uh, all the horizons. And uh, in these plots, uh, we see the values of, of, um, of m dot uh, as a function of time across the, the wall evolutions for the non-spinning on the left and the spinning on the right. So we label our runs uh, with, the, with the initial value of the magnetic to rest mass uh, energy density ratio and uh, the black uh, vertical dashed lines uh, mark the coalescence time. So as you can see, the spin has little to no effect uh, on, the, on the mass equation rate. Instead, uh, M dot is uh, highly dependent on the plasma magnetization and diminishes as uh, the magnetization increases. Interestingly, the post coalescence values of M dot for the magnetized runs uh, settle to values which, uh, which are comparable to the ones uh, before coalescence, whereas uh, the non magnetized runs uh, show a definite increase in M dot, and uh, we think this is due to the, to the way the plasma settles after the coalescence. Indeed, uh, let's look uh, at, uh, at these pictures. They both uh, depict the values of the rest mass density on the x zeta plane. On the left, uh, we have a magnetized case, on the right, uh, a non magnetized one. So we see that on the left, uh, the gas has settled into this uh, thin structure on the orbital plane, whereas on the right, uh, we see an, an almost isotropical configuration, meaning that uh, the post merger black hole has uh, a lot more gas to accrete. Finally, we look at the point in flux uh, generated by, by the magnetized simulations, and uh, it has been shown that such point in flux regions can transfer power from the black hole regions, ultimately leading to a strong electromagnetic mission. Thus, uh, in, uh, in the simulations, we explore the point in luminosity as a, as a potential source of power for uh, electromagnetic signals. In the spheres, we see um, the, the point in luminosity extracted at uh, a radius of uh, 30m. In uh, both cases, the magnitude of uh, the local maximum reached after coalescence, uh, which I marked with, uh, with a p in the plots, uh, does not depend on the initial magnetization of the plasma, but uh, increases by approximately a factor of 2 in the 0.6 spinning cases. So, in conclusion, I have presented some uh, initial results of uh, GRMHD simulations for, uh, for massive black hole binaries in magnetized plasmas. For the first time, binaries of uh, spinning black holes in a hot accretion flow have been evolved uh, in the ideal MHD paradigm. We have seen uh, the, the effects of uh, spin and the magnetization on uh, the accretion rates and the pointing fluxes. We found uh, that uh, the plasma's magnetization has, uh, has a big suppressing effect uh, on, uh, on the mass accretion rates, uh, depleting the gas uh, in the magnetical dominated regions uh, over and under the black holes. On the other hand, magnetization has uh, little to no effect on the local maxima 
of the pointing luminosities, which uh, in contrast uh, is affected by the individual black hole spins. So uh, my next steps are completing the evolution of, uh, of the binaries of uh, spinning black holes with uh, the dimensional spin of, uh, of 0.9 and uh, I'm considering to evolve binaries of uh, spinning unequal mass black holes and, uh, and finally I'm also considering to evolve binaries of uh, spinning black holes with uh, misaligned spins. So uh, that is all. Uh, bye everyone and uh, thank you for watching.